Hello! Today's review is Romper Stomper. This is the TV series, not the 1992 film that made Russell Crowe. No, no, no. This is a much more active, hard-hitting Australian TV series. I love this series a lot. Now, the reason I'm reviewing this is to tell you that you've got a chance of watching this from Friday onwards on uh, BBC Two. I've watched it all on uh, BBC iPlayer. All six episodes and they're excellent. The cast is led by a newcomer. I want to make sure I read his name correctly. Toby Wallace. Look out for this young man. Got a lot of time for him. Hard. When he's on the screen, he's one of these people. He steals every scene. Really good. The rest of the cast made of people who are very well known in Australia. I have no bleeding clue who they are, but I have seen them. Especially David Wanham and Dan, Dan Willey. Anyway, they're well known. <clears throat> so, here's the thing. What's it about, Cal? So, if you know the film... And uh, you know about uh, the skinhead movement. This is basically moving into uh, a group of people led by a hard man who uh, wants to uh, keep out all the uh, illegals in Australia, especially the Islamic ones. And uh, it's a far right movement that is attacking every meeting in uh, Melbourne. It's based in Melbourne, which is actually my favourite part of Australia. It's based there. And then this other group who don't want them to be doing what they do, meet up and they have fights and it all gets involved. But listen, this is really hard-hitting TV. I love this series. I can't wait for the second series to come out. This is definitely, for me, one of the best things I've seen from Australia for a very long time. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, mainly because of the performances. I love the young girl that's in it as well, that's married to the big boss. I won't tell you what happens. I don't do spoilers, but basically she's involved. But this is really a must-see TV moment. If you've never thought about watching it, watch it, whatever you do. With the situation in the UK with the people like Tommy Robinson, who's in prison at the moment, and what's going on, it's quite poignant that this is happening in Australia where they have these people that are leading these groups and trying it on. And... Uh, it is really good TV and it's, what I like about it is all the, the little people that are working behind the scenes that are high up in, in politics and on the media. Anyway, watch it. It's six parts and I know you're going to enjoy it. Romper Stomper. Now, before I go, before I go, lots more coming up, of course, as always. Lots of reviews, but here's some news for you. Here's some news. Some people may think that, you know, I'm just blogging along. No one takes any interest. <laughs> think again. Because the editor of the last, one of the last British films I uh, actually um, reviewed, said thank you for the review. I did love it. If you haven't seen it, Gangland Revenge. But even more importantly, I had a private message of the director of the best film of the year, uh, sorry, best TV series of the year, Very British Scandal, thank me also for the review. So how good is that? And that's my favourite BBC thing and the biggest download on the BBC TV dramas this year. So, somebody's watching these reviews. Somebody's watching me. I can't say any more than that. Have a great day. I'm going to be reviewing a film I'm desperate to see, actually, called... Uh, it's about Escobar. It's about his lover. And it's literally just come out, and I've got it, and I'm going to watch it. Don't ask me the name of the uh, guy that's the main lead, but he's the villain from the Bond movie. So, he's excellent, I know, in it. And uh, I'm going to be reviewing that in the next couple of days, if not even tomorrow. So, have a great day, and I'll speak to you all soon.